Good evening, YouTubers. Tio here, Simplistic Fishing, back at you tonight. We are going back to Lake Whitney. So we've been on Toledo Bend. Now it's time to switch over to Lake Whitney. Let's go ahead and check it out, see what Lake Whitney has to cover for us tonight. I think you guys are going to like it. We found a lot of good stuff last time, and I know we got some good stuff in store tonight. Let's get started. Here we go. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. If you've never watched one of my lake breakdown videos before, I always like to start it off, just kind of explain this to you. My apologies if you watched a bunch of these because it's just repeat, but I go ahead and break it down on the Google Earth side uh, by different things. So in this case, in Lake Whitney, if I stretch this out, make it maybe just a little bit bigger for you guys, <clears throat> you can see that we have the Texas Park and Wildlife Fish Attractors. These are typically like the PVC pipes. Some, sometimes they're bamboo huts, stuff like that. So we have those here. There's not very many of them. There were only three of them on this lake. We also have all the offshore hotspots marked, so you guys can see those. I also had some brush piles that I think I marked for this lake as well. Uh, there's different types of cover, so stick-ups, lay-downs, brush, debris, all kinds of good stuff. If you just wanted to fish the rock, you could just select the rock. You've got creek channels, and you've also got rams. So we got pretty much everything that you could possibly think of marked on this lake to help you guys be able to find the fish. So let's go ahead and start right here. Last time we ended right here uh, on the left side of the lake, right here where it says debris. So what I'm gonna do here, and you're gonna see uh, how we're gonna, how we know that there's debris there. We're gonna go up here to where this little time machine thing is. And we're gonna draw this back to about 20, I think this lake, the best one was 2014 or 2015. So I'm just gonna keep going back until I see, Wow, the land just completely changed there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but from 2016 to 2017, big difference. Let's get it back a little bit further and just see. There we go. That's the image that we're looking for. So the lake is really, really drawn down here. In fact, we probably could even mark this little roadbed right here or whatever this is. Might be just be people out there driving when it was down, but <clears throat> definitely looks like it could be an attraction. But let's go ahead and zoom in here and let's take a look at this. Now, that's not a very good image, so let's see if we can get a little better one. We'll stick with this one, but we may have to go back to 2014 every once in a while to uh, just to kind of check things out. But you can see here, right off of this point, there's some pretty good debris right in here. And these are always nice little honey spots to roll up to and can be able to catch a couple of fish off of. Off these points as well, you know, you've got this huge flat out here, obviously. You know, flats are always good during certain times of year, but <clears throat> just outside of the flat, you've actually got some rock that's out here. So you've got some rock that's right in this area. We've got some debris over here, some off of this point as well, and then some pretty good rock over in this area as well. So really like those uh, those spots on Whitney for sure. If you get back in here, you've got a boat ramp back here. A little bit of a creek channel or a ditch. I'm not really sure. It was hard to see when it went into the trees, but pretty good little ditch going on in here. You can see I've got it marked for you guys. And again, if we pull that water up, you're not going to know that, that that ditch even exists there. So could be a really good spot for you guys to check out. <clears throat> As I move further up here, uh, just wanted you guys to check this out. I can't tell what it is, but it definitely looks like it has some rock on it. So I would go out there and check that out. Could be a nice little offshore spot, you know, not too far off the bank, but just far enough off the bank to where you can pick up some pretty good sized fish. As I move further down this bank line, starts, you know, terrain starts changing for sure. You've got a big transition going on right here on the corner where I've marked rock. You can see the this is a totally different style of rock that's over here. But I did mark this because this one little rock, you can see it's providing some shade in here, but that one little rock seems to stick out amongst everything else that's on that shoreline. So definitely go and look at that. If we get further down in here, we've also got some old ramps that are down here. Now I believe when we took the water up, those ramps kind of disappear. You don't, you see that one there, but I don't think you realize there's one that's way out there. So get back in here and check this out. You guys have heard me talk about the boat ramp patterns before. That is a really good pattern to get on sometimes. And once you get on it, <clears throat> it's really, really easy, especially with this card, to be able to go out and just fish all the different boat ramps that you want. So moving down here, again, just that same style of rock, you know, just kind of bluff wall type stuff. But we get back in here in this little pocket, <clears throat> start to see some stuff uh, with some brush and things. Sorry, guys, I have to keep clearing my throat. I have some allergies. But uh, got some good brush right in here. I'll also have... A little lay down that's right there as well. That marker's right on top of it, but it's a pretty good size lay down that's right in that area. 
As I move further over here, again, we just got a couple more things we can look at. I really like how these rocks, certain rock formations definitely get my attention. If they're different than everything else, then I'll usually mark them. And that's pretty much what you see here. You've got three different areas where you've got like some boulders that stick out. It's pretty good points. This point can be pretty good too, because most people are going to fish both of these and they're going to miss that point that's right there in the middle. Also over here, some more of that rock, some more laydowns. I don't think there was too much back in the back. Yeah, I didn't see too much back in the back, but uh, over here, you can tell I can't spell rocks. So I have to fix that one. Uh, but we also have some stick ups that's right around this little rocky area. So that looks pretty interesting. That is definitely something that I would I would go fish. I like how it's off here. The main river channel's coming through here. The Brazos River, or might, might be a little bit further over, but somewhere in this area. So I really like that, how they could pull up off here and do some feeding and stuff like that. Good stick ups, good rocky area, good point. Everything about that looks really good. Moving further back in here, didn't see too much on the uh, the bank line coming in here until I got over here by these two points. So you got some really good rocks coming off the edge of this point, a little secondary point here. And then you've got some pretty good brush that's back here as well. Let me see if I can adjust this to where you guys can see it a little bit better. I don't know if I'm able to or not, but we're going to try. So you can see here we've got some brush that's right back in that area. <clears throat> you can tell that they've got... Definitely some really good contours here because, you know, with Google Earth, we're having to move it, shift it around to be able to see things. So you're probably going to have some really good depth in this lake as well. I think we talked about that in the intro. But also right in here, you've got some rock right over here off this little point. You've got another ramp that's right over in here. You can see there's the rock I was talking about. This is a little bit more scattered. So you got a little scattered rock in there and you got a little scattered rock right in here as well. You've got pretty good ramp going on right in there. And then as you move further back here, the landscape kind of changes, kind of get off those bluff walls and you get into these bigger, big, huge, you know, stones and things like that. So you got a real good boulder here, got real good boulders here on this side too. This looks like it could be a creek channel coming in and it's swinging up against the side. So this area right in here could be a real good area uh, to go check out. As you move further back here, there is some stuff kind of hidden back in here. I didn't mark the creek channel because I figured it'd be pretty obvious where the creek channel's at, but you've got some rock in here and some brush. Now, one thing that I missed that you guys might want to go check out is this little ditch that's right in here. Uh, it looks like a really good area, and sometimes those can be like the little hidden gems that you're always looking for. So that little ditch right in that area, it looks like that could be a really good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that thing, and so that way when we create that card, we've got that little ditch in there as well. So give me one second. And voila, we got a ditch. All right, so we're going to keep moving out of there. We've got a pretty decent little creek channel that comes through here. I went ahead and marked it for you, mainly just so that you know, hey, there's a there's a major creek arm coming back through here. But along that creek arm, you've got some pretty interesting stuff. You've got a nice little point that's out here that's got some really good rock on it, real sharp point, a real good drain coming down. So you've got some pretty good drops, pretty good contours in that spot. You've got some pretty good rock over here as well. Got some lay downs back here. You got stick ups that you could flip. I mean, all kinds of good stuff. You also have some brush that's up here. So if you look right up here, the image kind of sucks, but there's a brush pile right here. And it's right along. I can't tell if these are creek channels or not. I mean, they might be creek channels or they could just be runoff ditches and things, but it comes down and it swings right around where that brush pile is. So I can see that brush pile being a pretty productive brush pile for sure. You've also got some real big boulders look right in here, right where the creek channel kind of swings around. Real good boulders in there, another rock up in there. And then I kind of stop from there because then you're getting way far back up in the uh, the river there. But uh, anyways, really liked all of those spots. We cover all those. Let's go ahead and talk about just what we saw up here. So notice the land's pretty much dirt, dirt, dirt. And then finally over here, you get into a couple rock piles. So you got a couple rocks I marked for you guys there. Some more over here in the corner. And then out here, I'm just mainly marking like primary spots that are different. So definitely these two spots are a lot different. They got the boulders that kind of crop out, get a little bit further out into the lake. You've also got some debris back in these little pockets. So you could always get back up in here in these little pockets during certain times of year and flip around all that debris with a little bit heavier or even more like a punching rig and just punch through all that debris and stuff. You'd be surprised at what you can catch in some of that nasty stuff. Also moving back here. Got a nice little ditch coming through here with some debris back there too. Let's see if we can zoom in on that one. 
you can see the debris and the laydowns that's right in here. So I can see this being productive as well. And then we're going to move around the point, and I'm going to zoom out and show you guys where I am so I don't lose you. But uh, look at this point. Look at the transition area right there. You know, don't forget about those transition areas. This one's got some stick-ups around it too, or maybe just some standing timber, but a real good transition area right there. And then out here off this point, obviously the landscape changed and everything. You're into like this gravelly, rocky stuff, but you got some, some lay downs and stuff right off the tip of this point that you could go check out. So I'm going to zoom back and show you guys where I am. We started down there at that debris, and all we did is pretty much work our way into that pocket. And now we're going to zoom our way up this bluff wall, and we're going to kind of see if there's anything going on in here that, uh, that catches our attention. So a lot of this is going to be the same. But then again, I'm going to mark the things that are different, right? So here you've got a really good boulder that fish around. Look at the shadow that thing's creating. It looks really good. You've also got uh, another rock that's right in this area. Some more boulders in there. Again, they're just like these little unique spots. And those are usually good spots to look at because they are different. Now, as we get up here and we start to circle around the first little cove here, there's not too much. You know, the landscape looks pretty much the same. But there are these, these boulders that you see, so I went ahead and marked them all. There's about four of them right in that area. And then as we get in the second little pocket, we've got some brush back here, you can see. You got laydowns, another laydown there that you could have actually marked. Another one of those little boulders that sets out. Some more laydowns, bigger rock, really big rock pile right in this area. And then as we move further over here off this point, we've got some laydowns that are off this point as well. Moving down, just looking for things, again, that are different, right? We're on that bluff wall. What's different? Is there a big boulder or is there a big pile of rocks? You know, those are the kind of things we're looking for. And so both of these points kind of have that. You know, it's different. It's got a transition area around it. And it's a different kind of rock on both those points. I'm going to zoom back out. We're going to go into this little pocket now. Again, a lot of this stuff looks the same. So it wasn't too much that I could mark for you guys, but I could definitely, uh, you know, pick up a lot of these boulders and stuff. So we got one there, another one here, another good pile there, real good pile right there off that point. I like that one a lot. And then this one you can barely see. So interesting to see there could be a little pile right in here that I just can't pick up via Google Earth. I'm going to keep coming up this. This is B Bluff. Again, you got some really good rocks coming down in here. These bluff walls can be good, especially in the wintertime. You've also got some really big rock coming right in this area. This one really comes out. Got some more boulders down there sticking out, more there, kind of the same thing. And then if you come up here, it gets sandy again, and then you get a little bit of rock going off this point right here. And I like how that point sets up. So let's move back in here. We're going to go back in this pocket. There's only two things back here to point out to you guys. One, there's a brush pile back here that I can see. It's right there. You can kind of see it right underneath that anchor. And then up here... There's a pretty good laydown right here by the ramp. So you got a ramp up here, and then you got a really decent looking laydown that's right there in that area. Moving on up here, again, all the same thing until you get right around this area and you get this chunkier rock. So you could fish right around this area, this area or in here. Both of those spots have that chunkier rock where it's, it's rock and it's gravel, but there's not much to it until you get right in these areas. There's a ton of debris back in here you can see. So I was talking about flipping in that debris, get back in there. There's also some pretty good rock off of these points. These little secondary points can be really, really good sometimes, so make sure to check them out. Also, as we move further up, we got some more debris, so just some debris in these pot little pockets. As you can see, if I zoom in, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it just like piles up right in these little areas. This one's actually got a little ditch coming out of it as well. So this one could be a little bit better than the, uh, the other ones just because that ditch is there. So I'm going to zoom back out. We're going to go up around this ridge. Let me show you guys where I'm at. Almost up to the big turn up there. I'm going to zoom in here and show you guys this. There's some debris right off this point. Almost looks like a lay down on a tree or something like that. But check that one out. We've got some brush back in this pocket. It looks good. Some more laydowns for you guys that we marked. This one looks really good. Looks like a really good size laydown. If you're picking it up that good from Google Earth, you know it's good. And then look at the drop that this rock has. There is some significant drop going on right in there. Let's pull the water up and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's still there even with the water up. 
But notice there's uh, there's something offshore going over here as well. So this looks like it could be a really good area to fish around. I'm going to draw that back down to 2015 or 14 or wherever the heck we were. And we're going to keep on moving down. We got some more laydowns that are in here. So here you can see a pretty good laydown. This one has a laydown, but it's also a little ditch. Notice how it kind of looks like it, you know, it bends in. These spots can be really good, especially if you get a lay down in there too. So that's a really good recipe uh, to find some fish right in that area. Move it over here. Again, you know, changing the rock changes here. You can tell it totally changes. So these two little points right in here look like they could be very, very interesting. I'm going to swing down here. Again, we just got, you know, more rock. This is all the same, but this rock's different. You'll notice it's a lot bigger rock, big old chunky rock, probably comes out a little bit further. And there's actually like a little underwater point that's right in that area too. So just something different. Again, you got this huge bluff wall and a big creek channel. So uh, now off to the side of this creek channel, you've got these flats that are over here. So if you can get in here and see debris and stuff up on these flats, a lot of times they'll come up here and feed and they get back in here in the channel. So if you see stuff up here to flip around, flip up in those flats and just see what you can find. But just right off the channel here, you can see we've got some laydowns, got some more debris, more laydowns up there. Off in this little pocket, you've got a laydown. You know, it's all really close to this creek channel. You've also got a laydown that's right there as well. A couple more in there that are a little bit smaller. And then, of course, that creek channel will take you all the way back there. And I went ahead and just marked it for you guys so you can you knew that, hey, there's a major creek arm coming through here. Moving on up, found some more stuff up here. Another good lay down. Another pretty decent little little creek coming through here. Probably like a little feeder arm or something like that. But you've got some lay down back here by this creek channel. So that always makes it good. One, two, three, four, five different lay downs right here in that little spot. So could be good for sure. Got some brush again and debris just kind of stuck back here in these little pockets. This one actually has a little brush pile there though. So that looks interesting. The water's probably usually up to there. Let's Take a look and see if that brush pile is completely submerged. Yeah, it definitely is. So those are always good spots to go look at. Let's go back to 2015 and let's keep on moving. So I'm going to go up here. Now, once we get up here, kind of running out of different points, but we're seeing a lot of different creek channels. So, you know, if it's that time of year when you need to be going back in the backs of the pockets that have creek channels, and you guys have also heard me talk a lot, look, I... I don't fish too many coves and pockets if there's not a creek channel nearby. I mean, I know there's probably fish and I'm not saying there's not fish in those, but the higher percentage areas are going to be the places that have the creek channels uh, nearby. So these pockets in here, these are prime pockets because they have creek channels coming through them. So both of these have really good creek channels coming through. You've got a really good lay down that's right in here. You've got another little feeder arm that comes through here, nice little ditch with the lay down. It's way tucked back in there. So all this stuff looks good. Got good brush piles over in here. And you got another little feeder ditch coming right in here with some brush piles. So I like that area. I really like that area a lot. Got another little creek coming in through there, or like a little ditch or something that probably could even mark for you guys right there. So go check that out. Again, it's going to be a time of year thing because it's pretty flat up there. But these are going to be really good areas. And I believe, yes, this is a, these are north facing. So these are all going to be good spawning pockets right in here. All right, so moving on down, talk about those laydowns and rocks, and that's where we just were. Maybe we weren't. We were on that one. Anyway, it's got another feeder arm here. Got some laydowns back in here. Got some rock that's off this point. Looks pretty interesting. It's like its own little isolated little rock pile. And then you got a laydown that's right there off the side as well. And then move it over here. More creeks coming in. This one looks really good. It's got another one that comes up here as well. This is the main one. And it's got a ramp that's out here too. And when the water's up, I don't believe that ramp. Oh, 2021's right now. It's pretty down. The lake is down way low. Why even go to that? There's a kind of probably normal, normal lake at, at pool. You can see that ramp's pretty, pretty well uh, pushed under. Let's go back to 2021 because that's actually a better image than what we were we were dealing with earlier. So I'm gonna keep going down through here. Sad that the lake is this low. We got some pretty good drop going on right here. You can tell there's some kind of a ledge or something going on right in here. So check that out. And then also, if you look, you know, this is a different kind of rock right in here on these two little points than it is everywhere else. So you could go check those out too. 
getting back in here, we've got another little feeder creek or something going on. But if you look right here, it's got a little point that comes out that's got some rock right off the tip. So I would fish right in there, right where I have that marked as rock. Coming down here, just some more rock and stuff to take a look at. I guess this one's not as far because you can't really tell. So let's go back to where we were. And now you can tell that this rock, this one's just a little bit further down. So you can tell we got a couple different rock piles in there. Let's see if I can go back, clean that up. And then moving down here, we got another ramp as well. So I'm going to scroll back. Now we're getting over here by this main bridge that's over here, the Katy Bridge. And really just the only thing I wanted to mark here for you guys is just this good, nice, good riprap around the bridge. As you guys heard me talk about bridges all the time. I'm in love with bridges. If there's a bridge there, I definitely want to fish it. So go check that bridge out and fish around that riprap. So guys, I think I'm going to end right there. And what we'll do is we'll start on the Allen Bend on the next Lake Whitney video. I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure to go and check out my site, simplisticfishing.com. It will give you all of the waypoints that we talk about uh, on the videos. It's the offshore stuff, plus all the stuff that we find on Google Earth. I'm telling you, you can't go fishing without it. It will change the way you fish. Until next time, hit that subscribe button and hope you catch your PB. Take care.